Looks like Demitube has gotten one more popular anti-jihadist suspended. And you all probably know her as the popular Malisonia one. Now, I'm not sure if I said her name right, because as you all know from my other videos, I am really, really bad at pronunciation. I can spell words perfectly. You know, when I type, I can type perfectly. My grammar is fine, but when I'm actually pronunciating it, I'm really bad at that. So, correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, this won't surprise most of my viewers, because we're used to seeing at least two to three anti-Islamist pages suspended every day. So, this isn't going to surprise most of you. And, you know, most times when people are suspended, they'll just come right back, you know? I mean, I know I sure will. But, see, Malisonia was one of the more popular anti-jihadists, you know, in the sense that she had a fairly large subscriber base. I mean, I, th I believe she had over 600 subscribers. And, you know, a lot of people adored her. They adored her wittiness. They adored her sense of humor. I mean, even though she'd get, like, death threats and rape threats and she'd actually post them up, she could always keep her sense of humor about it. And it makes it very entertaining for us. Sonia also had a few clones and haters going around, and basically these clones and these haters were just harassing all the anti-jihadists and making, you know, really disgusting videos about her. And I noticed one of them was gloating about her suspension recently. I mean, I saw some other Muslims gloating about it as well, but you see, at least when they gloat about it under their real usernames, they're trying not to be as obvious. You know, in other words, they're very careful not to openly admit that they got her suspended. But at the same time, they're just like having a fucking parade about it. But they're very careful not to admit fault, because we all know what happened all the other times that we found out their secret operations. And they're still going on, believe me. Um, the accounts we see being suspended every day testify to this. I've had false DMCAs filed on me, and so have my friends on YouTube. And, you know, YouTube doesn't investigate this crap. You know, they still have these groups going around flagging people. The only difference now is that they have them on private. So we can't see what's going on. We can't expose it. You know what I mean? Unless one of us poses as one of them and, you know, tries to see what's going on in the group. But, see, we're not as fucking conniving as they are. So, I don't think that's going to happen. Now, I know a lot of you who haven't seen what's been going on here, you guys still don't want to believe YouTube has this pro-Islam and anti-American, anti-Israel agenda. And yes, YouTube does wrongfully suspend anti-Islamic accounts. I'm talking about accounts that haven't violated TOS agreement. I'm not talking about the ones where, you know, they're clearly in violation of TOS and they deserve to be suspended. No, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about, like, for example, false DMCA claims. I've had false DMCA claims on my videos. Videos that have nothing to do with anybody else's content, just my own. Or videos that I've borrowed from somebody and I've gotten their permission to use. And yet they've been very fucking lenient with anti-Jewish and anti-American sniper videos. But you know, that's not the only reason that, you know, this isn't what I'm basing it on. I mean, they've also been promoting pro-Muslim and anti-American, anti-Israel videos. I mean, every time you look at the front page of YouTube, you can almost always find at least one of these videos. I like Persian Guy's idea, so I'm going to borrow it, and I hope the rest of you will as well. And let me just explain what it is. Okay, every time you get a Muslim calling you a Zionist or a Jew, buy a bottle of wine from Israel. And it doesn't just have to be limited to wine. I mean, it could be anything that supports Israel. The same goes for like when you see someone getting wrongfully suspended for having anti-Islamic videos and basically like those fucking clones that are going around too. Every time you see this crap, buy something from Israel, something that supports Israel. This way, every time these fucking Muslims decide to act like fucking Muslims, They'll just be killing their own brethren.